Hi guys, welcome back to the kitchen. I just wrapped up an awesome pantry tour. So if you missed that, I'd invite you to go check it out. It was my let's wrap up 2020. And I shared some information on what you should plan for if you're thinking about canning your own food and about how much time I spent just canning this year. Today we are making another awesome pantry prep meal. It is cold, 22 mile an hour winds outside, rainy, drizzly. We're going to make up some white chicken chili. So let me just walk through some of the pantry items I've pulled up to pull this together. I have three cans of chicken, two cans of northern beans, a can of chicken broth, a can of jalapenos and we have our homegrown oregano and other spices that we'll be using our cumin, coriander, red pepper flakes, salt and pepper. Um, we'll also need um, cream at the end of it and some lime juice and some cilantro but that waits till the end. So what I'm gonna do first is get um, all my canned goods with respect to the chicken and the beans drained, and I'm gonna rinse the beans two times. Now the recipe calls for um, two cups of chicken broth, so I'm just gonna drain this chicken. We'll see how much chicken broth we get. I might not even have to get into the canned chicken broth. These tabler lids are a little bit trickier to open. Yep, about a half cup of broth per can, so that's good. All right, that's exactly two cups, a little bit over. Very good. Pour that in our pot. And now I'm gonna go rinse my beans in the sink. I've got the two cups of chicken broth in the pot. We're gonna add our chicken. We're gonna add our beans. And I'm going to be um, sharing with you guys a cornbread too. We're going to make a cornbread to go with it. I'm going to add a whole can of jalapenos. Now, cumin, about a teaspoon of cumin. Teaspoon of coriander. Red pepper flakes, just do it to taste. I'm probably doing about between a quarter and a half teaspoon. And oregano, we'll do it. This is why you should take time to process your oregano before you need it. Mine's still on the stems, so it's gonna be a bit, but I'm gonna put about um, two teaspoons of oregano in here. So that was supposed to be um, a tablespoon, not a teaspoon of coriander and cumin. I usually don't take time to process my herbs till the winter when I have, you know, you're stuck inside and it's boring time, but times like this when you need it, it takes time away from your cooking. All right. Um, we also need some paprika. Okay, I'm going to turn this on. We'll bring it up to a, a boil and then we'll turn it down and just let it simmer till lunchtime. 
And then we'll come back and we will add, oh, we need salt and pepper, sorry. Probably gonna do a full teaspoon of salt. Maybe a teaspoon and a half. We're gonna add three uh, cloves of garlic minced. All right, let's cook this. We'll bring it up to a boil and I'll bring you guys back and show you adding uh, the cream and uh, make it thick. Okay, what I did was I just went through here and used my little spatula and broke up the pieces of chicken into little shredded pieces. So it has um, been boiling just a couple minutes. Um, it doesn't look like it now because I turned it down. I'm gonna cover this, put it on low, and we'll just let it cook together and let all the flavors combine um, for the next hour and a half or so. Okay, so for my cornbread recipe, I do need buttermilk. I never ever buy buttermilk just because, you know, you use it that once in a great while for a recipe. Um, and unless you make your own butter, um, you have to go and buy it. And they rarely sell it like in cup sizes like you need. So I just make my own. We're gonna add a tablespoon of vinegar. And fill it the rest of the way to a cup with whole milk. And give that a little stir and then let it sit five to 10 minutes and you will have yourself a great buttermilk substitute. Okay, I just got all the ingredients measured out for the um, cornbread. I've got the oven set to 450. I need to measure out six tablespoons of um, shortening. And this is just our uh, leaf lard from our pigs. And we're gonna put this in the oven to melt and preheat the cast iron while we mix the cornbread in the oven. Let that melt down and let's come over here and we'll get to mixing. Okay, so look, first let's take a look at how did our buttermilk turn out. Tastes very buttermilky. Oh. <laughs> it's good for cooking to me, but not good for drinking. And one egg. So that was one cup of buttermilk, one egg a half of a cup of whole milk. We're gonna just stir this to combine. Okay, a cup of cornmeal, um, a half a cup of flour, and then I have a teaspoon of baking powder, a half a teaspoon of soda and salt. all this good together. This is not a sweet cornbread mix. It's just a very standard cornbread. You could probably add like a tablespoon of sugar if you wanted a sweeter cornbread, but this is just plain. this in. Now let's put it in the oven and I think we'll bake it, if I remember right, 20-25 minutes. For the cream base um, for the white chicken chili, um, it called for heavy whipping or heavy cream. Yeah, heavy cream and I don't have any so anytime a recipe calls for heavy cream and I don't have it, I break out the can of evaporated milk. And I'm going to be adding two tablespoons of tapioca flour. And I get to use my tiny whisk for the first time. Yay! We're gonna whisk that to just get rid of all the lumps. And it'll just act as a thickening agent. You could use cornstarch, you could use masa flour, um, 
arrowroot powder. Okay, I'm just gonna set this aside and we will have it ready when it's time to add it. Ooh. Nice. Crispy, crunchy outside. Mmm, that's gonna be good. So let's go ahead and add now our thickening agent and cream to our chili. Guys, this smells so good. I have one more special ingredient to add and I'll bring you down here so you can see it. The other day we made some yummy Korean beef tacos and I've got quite a bit of leftover cilantro. So we're gonna just stir that cilantro in. Woo! We'll serve it with some lime juice. And oh, this is thickening up nicely. Let me show you. Doesn't that look just delicious? Nice, thick, yummy chili. Oh, so good. <clears throat> Guys, it is so, so good. I just love this. So what a wonderful, healthy, delicious, nutritious, basic meal cooked better than you could possibly get at any restaurant from your own pantry and food that you preserved. So I'm not gonna do my typical taste test uh, wrap up here. We have company coming over and I need to clean up all the equipment and get ready for our visitors. But we thank you guys as always coming along in the kitchen with us, seeing how we're using up our good food that we preserve to make delicious meals for our family. Hope this inspires you and I'll talk to you later. Bye guys. Well, I tell you what I can do. I can cut into this cornbread and at least show you that, right? One second. Oh, I should let it cool, but let me see if I can do it for you. Yummy. Serve that with some butter and honey. Mm-mm. Good. All right. That's it. See you later.